Hi everyone. It is 1.12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, April 26, 2019. I, I feel I need to document this. Uh, I have been seeing a lot of extremely low frequencies being set off in California. As I have said, I, I'm seeing what I just never have seen before on these radar sites and it does not portend uh, good news whether they're using these frequencies to <laughs> mind control regions or well they have a lot of nefarious applications. What concerns me with California, especially around the Oroville Dam, is extremely low frequencies. Well, they can be emitted into the atmosphere or through the ground. They can cause earthquakes. So they could cause a dam to break. Okay, not good. So, and I'm not doing this to cause anybody to panic. I'm sure all of you who live around the Oroville Dam know what is happening with your dam and uh, you're all no doubt prepared to be evacuated or uh, whatever is going to happen but I will link below to these videos I'm just going to play a few minutes of wackadoodle the spillway was basically reconstructed um using the same design as they had before which we know that didn't work we know how that all worked out but uh, they've introduced a new problem to this whole equation which is when they did this they didn't take into account certain variables that have to do with physics of how water um, transmits you know vibration and, and and the the vibration that's actually being caused by this potentially if this dam ran at its full release capacity which would be 120 cubic feet per second this dam would rip itself to shreds uh, we can see here that uh, as the dam as the water is being released that um, the sensor readings here as you can see on the screen show the difference in the vibration that's being caused and what happens is these differences of vibrations these frequencies sort of overlap and they modulate in the ground underneath and what's going on in the ground underneath is what's really really super important but we took yes it is super important what is happening underneath so when I see these extremely low frequencies being set off with clearly intense power it's very concerning I will also link below to this video, which I'll play in just a few minutes. From two days ago, uh, the collapse of the Oroville Dam has become a distinct possibility. And there's some interesting information in here, a lot of it which some of us may already know or heard of. But uh, it's good to just kind of keep uh, bringing out the information that's going on here because it, it looks like this is not good. But uh, in this article here, the Orville Dam is in crisis. In the past several weeks, I have spoken to Paul Preston multiple times about the continuing crisis. This morning, April 18th, Paul is in court attempting to file an injunction against the Department of Water Resources in California. Consequ consequently, Paul is not able to speak with me on this topic. However, I do have access to other sources, and I, I have obtained direct evidence which strongly indicates that the Orville Dam is in imminent danger. Here is what we know as the early morning hours of April 18th. Within the past six days, the dam has begun periodic overtopping. The Oral Dam is the biggest earthen dam in the United States, standing at a height of 901 feet. The dam is experiencing threats to its existence from a number of sources. Here is a recent story from which indicated that overtopping 
was a looming threat. This alone could collapse the NAM. And this is from, uh, I'm assuming, Paul's website, Agenda 21 Radio. Um, okay, I will link below. Um, please circulate this information. All right, well, let's take a closer look at these extremely low frequencies that are being set off in Northern and Southern California. They are overlapping, um, crossing beams. All of what you are seeing, and for those of you who don't know, um, the signatures for extremely low frequencies, they are these uh, very defined lines that fan out. But here you'll see the bursting, the pulsing of powerful frequencies. Here it comes. You see all of these uh, fanned out defined lines. Well, I've been noticing this and it's on a regular basis pretty much late at night it's happening in pretty much the same places but you also have the extremely low frequencies coming from the, the uh, Oregon California border and up here, I guess Oroville is somewhere right here if you can see my cursor. So all of these frequencies, well, they talk about the vibrations that they are um, monitoring at this dam. This would cause vibrations these extremely low frequencies that go through the ground. And yes, we do have their, these beams, these frequencies are crossing one another. So, unfortunately, you know, we do have uh, crazy people who have no problem setting off any kind of disaster that people will suffer all life, all life, the four-legged leggeds. Um, it's, it's maddening to see this, but it's happening. So I wish I could tell you exactly why we are seeing such powerful frequencies being set off, but I can't. I could only tell you if I was an insider with insider knowledge, and I'm not. So throughout California, you're blasting away here, but you're blasting away uh, Southern Nevada and Arizona and even further south, the entire area is being subjected to incredibly dangerous frequencies. So when you think about, you know, the big one, the earthquake in California, and you see these kinds of frequencies being set off, well, they can make the big one happen. But just quickly, um, rather intense, powerful frequencies taking place right here in, is this the Corpus Christi area, Corpus Christi, or um, I want to say Brownville, but I'm not sure if Brownville is on the east side. Okay. Well, look at all of these frequencies being set off and you've got them. 
you know, overlapping, very dangerous. Look at these frequencies. Look at this that is literally, you know, rotating. That kind of rotation leads me to believe that they're actually looking for something. When we have these frequencies that are just being set off like this, oh, they're not looking for anything. So, yes, these frequencies, um, they can use them for weather modification. They can use them for mind control. No joke. I have plenty of videos on playlists. You can look at my 5G Wi-Fi playlist. Um, they can also use it to subdue the population in these regions. And they can induce a lot of physical illness, make you feel like crap, an awful lot of emotions. You know, if they want the region, the population in a region to feel very depressed, lethargic, apathetic, they have the frequencies available to do just that. Uh, two more people died in Alabama. Tornadoes. Uh, an emergency declared by the governor. I haven't taken a look at what has been happening with the weather, but Apparently, people lost their homes. And also in Louisiana. I think in all five people died. It's hard to take, guys. It's hard to be at war when you're surrounded by Americans who just refuse to acknowledge it. So, you guys, just, I will link below to these sites. Keep an eye. Keep an eye on what is taking place here. And make sure that you inform yourself as best you can as to what is happening with this Oroville Dam. Stay safe, everybody. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.